Today we're going to do a really wonderful yoga class with my mate Richie Norton and it's going to be a mind and body reset. We all need this today. Hello Richie. Hiya. How are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Um, I'm pretty sure this is what everybody's going to need. I know I practice this on a daily basis when I'm feeling a little bit up there. So the vibes are gonna hopefully be nice and high. We're gonna create a little bit of heat, nice bit of breath work to start things off, little cheeky flow, and then ground things down. If you're ready to rock and roll, in the seated position, I want us to tune into the breathing. The first element of this is to connect the mind to the body. So hands can be on your lap, on your knees. Closing the eyes just to ground down and center into the practice. You're gonna observe the breath in, There'll be a little pause at the top of the inhalation and then you're going to let the breath out as you release and exhale. So the process here as you breathe in and out, if your mind's a little bit busy, you might feel a bit disconnected. So to ground us into the practice, it's really great. It's a mindful exercise to take the air in as you fully inhale, fill the lungs up. And there'll be a short pause that brings attention to that little hold and then you breathe out and you let go, you release and really ground down into this seat. Each wave of breath might feel a little bit different, but the idea is you're working with each cycle. So we observe the breath, we follow it in, we feel the expansion into our belly, into our ribs, up into our chest, and then we feel the contraction as we breathe out. And then start to bring that focus into the wave of that breath. Just softening the jaw, softening the eyes, just letting the breathing control the state, the tempo, put you in the right mood. Always nice to start a practice when you can ground down and center yourself so you really stay connected and get present to the movement. You might even be lucky enough to get a little smile up here on your face. Hopefully each time you go through a breath cycle, you soften, you relax, you become a little bit more connected and then hopefully then we're ready to practice. So you can open the eyes. So starting here, we are going to stay in the seated position, but just to unlock that we're just gonna uncross and cross the other way, just to give that little space into the hips. Sit up nice and tall. Left hand is gonna go down, and the right arm's gonna sweep up as you inhale. So stretching, not anything limp in that arm. Active for this side body, and the next breath out, you're just gonna allow that nice little side body stretch, keeping your seat, keeping the roots. And then inhale. Right hand comes down, left arm comes up, nice reach, stretch the side, we feel the ribs open, and then the breath out, soften to the other side. Good. Inhale again, one more time. Right arm comes up, but this time we're gonna go a little bit deeper. See if you can work a little bit lower, bending that left arm, which is your support. And then this right arm's gonna sweep down in front of you so you get a little twist through the back and it finds the base on the right hand side. The left arm comes up again. Good, soften, breathe out, feel the ribs stretch, the hips open, and then a little twist. See if you can deepen as you bend that right arm, lower a little bit more, and then swooping down across the front. Good. Now inhale, both arms come up. And then as you breathe out, the palms are gonna be placed down behind your back, the fingers pointing away. So you can ground the hands down and then open up into the chest. So just take the gaze forward, feel the chest open, find that space between the shoulder blades closed down, breathing into the chest. So I really want you to choose breathing as the priority control, the, the guy that gives you the tempo, nice steady pace, don't feel rushed by the movement. Good. Now inhale, creeping the hands forward, keeping the seat, reaching down towards the floor, and then fold down over the legs. 
Stay active through the fingertips so you can feel that stretch through the back. So as you breathe in, you'll feel the back open up, feel that stretch into the back. And then as you breathe out, bring the forearms down if you can, chin to chest and let the back just naturally open up. Good. Now creeping the hands to the left. So lift the chest up and as you breathe out, we're just gonna soften and fold a little bit more so you feel a slightly different angle across the back open. Remember, tuning back into your breathing. Let the breathing be your guide. That's going to allow you to soften. And then creeping the hands to the other side, take a little breath in just to align the spine, folding over the other leg, and then gently fold into that lower state. Oh, that side is in so much need of this. <laughs> yeah, right. Good, and then come back to centre. So we're going to release the legs here, separate the feet, give them a little bit of room. So just a little bit of an internal rotation and then roll into the other side, breathing in, breathing out. And then once you've grounded down a couple of times, if you roll into your left, the right arm is going to come up. We're going to twist, grounding both legs into the floor, and then we're gonna fall down to wherever we can lower down over that lower leg. With the breath, inhale, roll to the other side. Left arm comes up. Once you feel grounded, we're gonna avoid this tree <laughs> and then find the floor. Great indoor foliage, Richie. <laughs> Nice. And then bring yourself back round to centre, bring the feet together, grab the ankles, just a nice little bit of a flow, flexing a little bit of fly stretch into the hips. And then bringing your hands into the shins, open up the chest, let the shoulders drop back, open the chest. And then one more fold as you reach forwards, softening into the back. Good, and then inhale, okay. Coming onto all fours. So coming onto our knees at first, you might find that a nice little stretch. Give your wrists a little bit of love there. Not everyone can sit in this place. I know you probably can firm, but just sitting in this, this base here is usually the nicest way to feel grounding, but allow our belly to open. So what I'd like to do is take a nice breath in here, open up, stretch and reach the arms above the head. And then bend the arms and then open up the chest, pull the shoulders back. So we're kind of making this cactus position. And as you breathe out, you're going to push the back away, drop the chin to the chest and bring the fingertips together. So you should hopefully feel a nice little bit of an opening into the back, right? Lovely opening. And then we do that two more times. So do it with the flow. So you inhale, arms come up. And if you're here, that's still okay. You can do it from here, but if you can ground out. Open up the chest, take a breath in, open that space, and then close it down as you breathe out, reach forwards. We hold so much tension in our backs, don't we, without even knowing it. Breathe out, open the chest, finding that space into the shoulders. A little gentle back bend, but I think it's a little bit more manageable, right? And then flow forwards, last one, nice. From here, the hands are gonna find the floor and we're just gonna roll into all fours, okay? Turning down the toes is an option, but what I'd like to do here, the cat cow is also a favorite, but what I'd like to do is play with this. So we're gonna add a little bit of a roll. So as we breathe in and out, so we lift the chest up, stick the bum back, breathe out, chin to the chest, open up into the back. But we're gonna add a little bit more of a fluid movement into it. So just a gentle rock sitting back, it's a bit more intuitive, right? Sometimes you've got a free flow here. Listen to your body. Where does the body want to go? And then you're going to offer some lateral movement. So moving left to right. So playing with that cat cow. So rounding. Imagine you're that cat having a lovely stretch, opening up into the shoulders. Using the heat to create space. A nice bit of play. Just a few more breaths here.
Nice. Spread the fingers, turn the toes. We're gonna to take the knees off the floor as we inhale. And as we exhale, push back into that downward dog and the heels find the floor if possible. Just have a little play there, pedal it off. I went for a run yesterday, so I know my calves need this. <laughs> if this is the first time that someone's doing a downward dog, what advice would you give just to get the alignment completely right? Um, I think here, yeah, I like to have a little bit of a play and be intuitive. Some people have got super tight hamstrings. Some people's hips give them issues. I find here, if you're looking back to eat between the toes and I'm pushing off the floor, I find it's not just here. I like to get the length in my spine. So I really open up my torso. So I open up my shoulders and I play with coming up onto my tiptoes and then gently one heel at a time, starting to find length from the Achilles all of the calf muscle, and I find everything starts just to let go if you take your time, but using your breathing, and sometimes even just softening to the knees and playing through here. I mean, I'm already feeling the heat from being in this position just for more than a few seconds. <laughs> Good, and then drop the knees down to the floor again. Okay, so just a little breather from there. So sitting back onto our heels, inhale, arms come up. As we extend, so as you're going to get to come up onto the knees, that's it, yep. And then pull the arms back, and then we connect the fingers behind the body, and then we just open up the chest and send the shoulders back. So just being gentle here, strong through the base. And then release the hands down to the floor, walk the fingertips forwards, keep the hips high, and then activate through the hands to open up the torso. So we get this nice little opening through the back. Good, from here, bring the forearms down to the floor, keeping the hips high. So it gives our wrists a little rest. I think they can get quite a big beating sometimes. From here, we're gonna open up the right side and create a little twist as we reach our fingertips up. That is much harder than it looks. Yeah, right. This is always somewhere where you can actually even add a little bind and that might give you a little bit of an anchor. So tuck in the right fingertips and the left hip. It's quite tight, but it's usually a little bit easier on the wrist to be able to hold it and take a little extra breath. Release that right hand. We're not quite done yet, but we add a little thread of the needle through the, the right hand goes past the left elbow and we're a little bit more grounded and to hopefully bring the shoulder down towards the floor. The left hand can then be something to help you get a little bit deeper into that little spinal twist. Good, and then push off the hand, bring yourself back onto all fours. And then drop down to forearms and we're gonna swap sides. The left arm opens up. The option to bind if you want, but using the breath, keep tuning to the breathing. And then release the left hand, thread it through the back of the right elbow. And then this hand can then just be a little bit of an extra lever to give you a nice little twist through the back. Just making sure the head and the shoulders grounded down safely. Do you feel that through your shoulder or more through the spine? It's Where's definitely that, that through spot? my spine, I feel that. It's really lovely. And then inhale, come back up onto all fours. Turn the toes, and then let's push back again. See if we can go a little bit deeper, this downward dog. Length in the spine, spread the fingers nice and wide. Breath in, soften on the breath out. And what we're gonna do here, a couple of different phases. So as you breathe into a plank position, inhale here, squeeze the right knee to the right elbow. Just a little bit of heat, a little bit of fire and then kick that mind the tree, that right leg nice and high. So the option here I find sometimes you want to deeper stretch that right heel, the left heel, sorry, coming down towards the floor, try and lengthen. And then bring the right knee to the right elbow again. And then right foot goes back one more time and then bend the right leg, look under the right armpit so we get this nice little opening for the right hip. 
And the wild thing or variations here, I know you always love these, is where you could just bring yourself all the way over and have a little play, making sure your root, your ground in here, your foundation arm is strong and then have a little bit of a play. Look at that wild thing, nailing it. Oh, I love a wild thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then bringing the hands down to the floor. So now that can be quite tough for some people. Balance that out straight away. So play, lengthen, open, breath in. Soften and control the pace as the breath out. Left knee to left elbow. Kick that left leg high. Drop the right heel down if you can, have a little play. One more time, inhale, left knee, left elbow. Left leg goes back, you slowly bend, open. Have a little play, gently coming over. Woo! Yeah, this all connect mind and body. <laughs> yeah. And then bring it all the way over. Last little downward dog, stretch that out. and then bring the knees down to the floor. Give the wrists a little bit of love there, that can be a little bit tough. So a little bit of movement. But in this position, while we're in this kneeling space, using that heat now, just to give our wrists a little rest, come up onto the knees. Option is, you can be here or feet flat. I mean, some people don't get comfortable like that. But what we're trying to do here is try and stretch side body but you do it to breath, so you create like a bit of a windmill. So the fingertips find the floor. If you want to get a little bit lower, obviously you kneel down, but we're trying to find length all the way up through the outside of the thigh into the hip. I find this is one of the tightest muscle groups in my whole body, like especially first thing in the morning. Oh, I can barely move my hips, they're terrible. Well, it's that band through this hip here where a lot of crossover is from the glute muscles and the hip flexor that a lot of people neglect. And it can really restrict other ranges of motion, especially like hip flexion and forward folding and twisting from that hip. Okay, one more. Nice, and then find the seat on the calves. That's it. Both hands come down, turn the toes, breathe out, push back, downward dog. So we're gonna move through a variation here using the lunge. So inhale as you come forward into a high plank position. The left foot lands next to the outside of the left hand. And the back knee can drop down. You wanna be more active, you can stay off the floor. Left hand goes on left knee. And then the right arm comes up. So we're pushing the left leg out. So we feel this nice opening for the hip flexor now. Quad, abdominal muscles. And then we're gonna flow through. So as you breathe out, the right hand comes down, reaching forwards. They activate the back left leg, and then the left arm swoops open to the left, looking up to the left fingertips. Good, both hands now come and land down the inside of the left foot. Right heel comes down, and then we're gonna inhale and open to the right. Nice. And now keep it fluid with the arms. So the right arm swoops forwards, right hand comes back down, right heel comes up, and then we're gonna open and swing the left arm up as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're going to try and straighten that front leg, the left leg, as much as you can. See if you can deepen the twist. Left thigh, you should help you feel your glute muscle as well. The hip gets a nice little tweak there. And then right and left hand come down, right knee comes down, and then push yourself back up. Ooh. We're not quite done here yet. Inhale, the arms swoop up. Again, that cactus position that allows us to get a little bit more into the shoulders, interlock the fingers behind the back, and then gently slide the hands behind the back so you can breathe. Nice big chest opener, heart opener. 
Just gather your breathing. Nice, and then gently ease out of that. So you can literally step back and then find your feet again in the seat. The heat is rising. We're gonna transition again through that. So the right hand, left hand comes down, all fours, turn the toes, push back just to start this sequence. Inhaling, stepping the right foot outside the right hand, the left knee can come down if you want. Right hand on right knee, just to allow a little bit of opening, rolling into the ankle. Good. And then a nice little opening again, just breathe into the chest, release the arm. Right hand comes down, activate the back left leg. Inhale, open up, deeper twist. And then the right arm lands on the inside of the right foot. The left heel comes down, engage through both feet, and then open to the left. Are you feeling the heat, Fern? The heat is there. It's <laughs> Good. Not just me then. Right hand comes back down. <laughs> One more time. So swooping up. So we use that little wave as we breathe in. And then as we breathe out, we're going to try and straighten this front leg so we feel this nice release with the outside of the right thigh into the butt. Arm opens up. That's so intense. <laughs> right hand comes down. Step back. Let's push back, release the back body. Drop the knees down to the floor. In fact, I miss a little sequence out there. Let's just not miss that opportunity. Step the right leg forward, because this is a nice little finisher. I was already thinking about Shavasana. <laughs> Bring the arms back. Oh, you always. <laughs> Interlock the fingers. Take a nice breath in as you breathe out. Try and soften. Breathe into the chest, the shoulders, feel the hips open. Embrace the heat, the energy, and soften the breath and then gently step out of that. Bringing the hands down, reaching the fingertips forward, keep the bum high. And then ground the forearms down, ground the forehead down. Give the fingers a little wiggle, the wrists a little bit of love. Good. And then just a little swivel. We're going to bring it down to the floor. That's about as heated as we're going to get. Okay, so before we completely ground down, some internal work here. So rolling the legs left to right, that's it. But being grounded from this arm as well. So if you're too close, you miss that stretch. If you reach the arms a bit further back, you can create a little bit more opening from the shoulder to the hip. Good, and then straighten out the legs for it. That's it. And what we're gonna do here, take a breath in, and then try and just gently allow ourselves to fold over the legs. And it's a little cheat here, sometimes you haven't got the range of the hamstrings, you grab the ends of the feet, and you might want to like straighten one leg at a time. So you just gently let the heel slide out. Just for those people watching that don't have that range, you just let the body Soften. And then gently come up. Hands go behind the back, palms down. Open into the chest. And a little crossover here. So if you're in this position, you're gonna cross the right foot over the left knee and then allow this left leg to tuck under you. So we've got this little crossover, trying to get the knees over the top of each other. 
That might be enough. It's a nice little opening into the hip, so we've got some heat there. And then we just literally start to hug ourselves into the knee, keep the chest open. So it looks like that. Hopefully you should feel a nice little bit of space open up into the glute on that top leg. And then flip the right leg out, changing sides, other leg crosses over, let this leg slide underneath you. Kind of pulling as tight as you can, grab on top of the knee, and then lengthen the spine. Now we're trying to breathe a little bit more consciously, so lengthening the breath out as we ground down. Breath in, soften as you breathe out. Letting the body calm, letting the nervous system calm. And then release both legs, sliding out onto our backs. So I know you're a lover of this as well, Fern. That little crossover now, so when we roll both legs left to right in this bent position, a little bit of a release in the back. What we can do here is if you want to take the feet off the floor and work a little bit tighter, and then once you've done a couple of rolls, let both knees fall together to the floor, using your right hand if you've rolled to the right to hold them in place. And then let the left arm open out to the left and look to those left fingertips. And then breathe and try not the breath do the work here. So the mind softens, connecting with the body to help it open and let go. And one extra little bit of space here, if you want to open this top leg into the hip, you just straighten that leg. And then you can just allow yourself a little bit more room. If you just extend the legs out a little bit in that, from that bend, you might feel it work a little bit tight around the hip, maybe into the back. Breath in, nice long breath out. Nice, and then we're gonna swap over. So. Roll and keep the legs tight, roll to the left. Once you've found that ground, allow the right arm to open, or whichever arm you've gone with. It can be bent because you want it to feel mechanically comfortable for the shoulder. And then once you've got the end of the range, the breath really plays a key role here in allowing the nervous system to soften up a little bit and give you a bit more space. And then extend the legs out if you want a little bit more. And then bring the feet back. Gentle rock, left to right, squeeze the knees up. It wouldn't be right, I think, if we left out the happy baby here. Just we're here to be happy. So grabbing the outsides, the feet, and there's a few options here. You can start to play with lengthening the legs to help give you a little bit more space behind the legs, but take it easy, or squeezing the knees down towards the inside of the body. And then maybe one leg at a time. It does make you happy, doesn't it? It does. It's just a joyful move all around. So good. <laughs> <laughs> we can then bring the feet down. And then we'll just close out here with a little mini Shavasana just to close things out. So option is you can have the knees bent. You can let the legs roll out. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And then allow the hips to open, the feet to roll out, the palms to open. Gentle tuck of the chin to the chest to lengthen that little section of the neck. And with this now, bring attention to the heat that might have built up, but also all the fresh new oxygen you've poured into the body and all the blood flowing around the body. All of our cells are alive connecting to every single part of our body, sending all that energy around the system. And now as you breathe all the way in, 
You might notice a little bit more of a pause, a nice controlled hold, and then soften as you let the air leave the body. Each time you breathe out, you feel a little bit more grounded and you're settling the nervous system into a nice calm state. Maybe a little smile will appear on your face because you've enjoyed that little bit of me time. But just knowing that you've done some good to your body, you've opened up, you've released tension, you've unraveled stress, you've allowed the body to connect to the mind, you've taken control, and now you can carry that vibe into the rest of your day. Or maybe just stay in Shavasana and just have a little nap. Your call. Mm. <laughs> and then, if you are going to close things out with me and Fern, we're going to gently roll to one side into a little fetal position. Mm. And then easing yourself up into a seated position to close things out where we began. Keeping the eyes closed for a second, just to really harness this seat, but also just allow our body to settle into this space. Breath in, soften on the breath out. And then bring the hands together so we traditionally close this out correctly. We thank our bodies, but also we thank the Happy Place Virtual Festival for making this happen. I hope you're feeling the vibes. And we say Namaste, legends. A little bow to the fingers. And we can hopefully carry on our day. Oh, that was so wonderful. I will be 100% taking that vibe throughout my whole day. All of that early morning back tension is gone, my hips feel better. And like you say, just having a moment of me time is so important and often really difficult to find. So I'm really grateful for that. Thank you so much, Richie. That my was pleasure. wonderful. As always.